Hey there, this is Linda West with Living Live. And today I'm going to talk about 15 ways that you can profit from your book. Now I'm going to make this a very short video, but if you know anybody who is interested in writing a book, it has a share, a story to share that I want you to share this video out with them. Okay. I want you to share it because they can learn how they can make money off of their book. Now, maybe you're a person who um, was interested in writing a book, but you're just not really sure what to do. I'm going to share with you, you know, a couple little tips and tricks on how you can get started. I'll tell you how I went from having my book sitting in my head on different pieces of paper. Literally, I had pieces of paper this size. I had full sheets of paper. I had notebooks and I had computer. I had my book everywhere. But I'm going to share with you the biggest tip that I learned that can help you write your book and as little as like I wrote mine in a week. Um, I hear you can actually write a book in a couple of days. I didn't do that. I wrote mine in a week. But if you want to go from having it all cluttered in your head to having it into a book, look at here's mine. The, the year of fears, because in 2015, every single day I woke up and I said, what scares me? And um, I, I got it all figured out. Like, what did I learn from all the fears that I went through? So whatever fears I faced that morning, I faced you know, whatever fear I came up with that morning. That was the fear that I faced. And so I learned a lot of lessons from it. So I've decided to put a book, you know, make it into a book. Actually, people told me you should write a book. You should write a book. And so I went ahead and wrote a book called uh, The Year of Fears. But I'm going to start off with sharing with you here. Um, again, my name is Linda West and my company is Living Live. Sorry, I'm a little off sorts here because uh, my partner in crime, she did, she's not here right now. So I'm doing this on my own. So wish me luck. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you again, 15 ways that you can make money from your book. And first of all, when you write a book, there's something that happens to you that you might not even rec realize that's going to happen. And one of the first things that happens is you gain a little bit of confidence in yourself. Like, wow, I did it. I wrote the book. And then the next thing is, wow, I did it. I put it out there. Now it was a little bit scary for me at the first, um, like at the first, at first, when I hit that post button to make my book live and I was like, should I tell anybody? <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't sure if I should tell anybody because now my words are out there for people to read them and critique them and judge me. And you know, it was all these different fears that we face. But I realized that that, that didn't matter. What mattered is that I want to put it out there. I wrote it. I'm proud of it. I'm really happy I did it. Can I make edits to it? Yes. Can it be better? Yes. But guess what? You may have heard this saying, and that is that done is better than perfect. So at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you how you can learn, how you can um, be part of a book that I'm putting out called The Fearless Entrepreneurs. And actually, I'm so excited that I'm actually doing more with this than just putting it out there as a book. I'm, oops, wait, shoot, hold on, hold on one second. Bear with me one second as I get this up there. There we go. I think I did that right. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm excited because I'm actually starting my podcast called The Fearless Entrepreneurs also in addition to this book. So this is a collaborative book that we'll be working on. And if you're interested in learning more about that, please stick around to the end of this video where I teach, where I share with you how you can become a fearless entrepreneur in this book. Okay. You're probably a fearless entrepreneur already, but how you can be part of this book and then also how you can be part of my podcast. So here's the first thing. There are 15 ways to profit. I'm not going to cover all of these as far as, you know, covering to what extent you can do these things, but I'm just going to share it with you 15 different ways. There's more than 15 ways, but these are the 15 that we've come up with that we're sharing. So the first one is that sales and royalties. Now I will tell you, there's not a whole lot of money in this. And I was reading something today. Um, oh, John Lee Dumas, he interviewed Barbara Corcoran. And you may have heard of both of them, John Lee Dumas and Barbara Corcoran. But I was reading how Barbara was saying, oh, I don't make it much money on my book. I make 50 cents per book, 50 cents per book. She's a New York Times number one bestseller, and she makes 15 cents per book. But listen, 
you can put your book on Amazon and sell it yourself through KDP, which shoot, I don't remember what that stands for. I think it's Kindle direct publishing. If I remember correctly, don't quote me on that. And, um, but you can put your book self publish on KDP and you can make as much money as you want. It's really up to you. You set the price and then they keep a percentage of that. So for example, you know, John Lee Dumas, he mentioned how when you self publish, you can charge, like, let's say you charge $10 for your book and then KDP keeps, let's say, for example, maybe they keep, let's say $5. I'm just going to throw a number out there because I have no idea. So you've made $5 profit or $4.99 profit off of your book, one book. Now my book, I have it up on Amazon um, for $12.95, I believe is the price of my book, The Year of Fears. And for every book that I sell, I make a profit of $7.50. So that's not a lot of money, but it's not nothing. So if you're not going to become rich probably off of your book, unless you sell a whole bunch of them, like, like chicken soup for the soul, right? By Jack Canfield. Um, you know, they've sold millions and millions. And of course they're making money off of that. So there's different ways to, to public, put your book out there. Again, you can self publish or you can go ahead and find a publishing house. If you can find one to publish your book, you know, that's a great way to go too. But I don't know about how much advertising they do for you. So I recommend I recommend self-publishing. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Patty. It's good to see you. Happy Mama's Day to you too, girlfriend. Awesome to see you. Okay. So, um, so self-publishing and getting your know, sales and royalties is one way to profit from your book. The next way is creating audiobooks. You know, you can create your audiobook out of your book and upload it to different places, different podcasts. You can create podcasts, do audiobook, what have you, and put it out there and you can charge for that. So if somebody comes to your website, they want to download your audiobook, audiobook, maybe you charge 99 cents. Well, if they download it through your website, then you probably make the whole 99 cents, but then you, there's always fees you got to pay. You always have to pay fees. So think about that. Okay. So I'm not exactly sure exactly how much money you can make doing audiobooks, but it's just one other way to put yourself out there. Okay, so the next way would be product sales. So that'd be selling your book. You can actually, I'll give an example of my book. I'll always use my book as an example because I know the deal on that. Okay, so with my book, for example, it cost me $3.50 for each book for me to get them mailed to me. So for example, I bought 100 books and I paid $3.50 each. So I paid $350. Now I have these books in hand and I can sell them for however much I want. I can sell them for like, you know, for example, what did I just do there? Okay. Oh, no, I'm sure. For example, uh, somebody, I asked somebody, I was like, well, how much do you want to pay? <laughs> Cause I don't know how much to charge for my book. So I just said, how much do you want to pay? And they said, well, how about if I pay $15? And I was like, okay, sold, you know? So somebody paid me $15 for my book. Now I paid $3.50 for it plus my time. You know, I spent a lot of time writing it. So I did spend time and then they paid me $15. So I made quite a bit of profit off of that one book. So that's another way to do that is um, having product sales, selling your product. You can sell it online. You can get them in person and sell them when you're going places. You can give them away. You know, they're really great ways to give gifts. What I like to do is put my business card in the book on chapter two, because I like chapter two, it's one of my favorites. And so I put my business card in chapter two. And when I'm talking to somebody, if I really, really resonate with them, and I want to make sure that we connect later after the meeting, I'll hand them my book and I will just give my book away. I don't charge them for it. I just give my book away because that's a person that I really want to connect with by giving them my book. I have more chances of connecting with them after you know that they'll actually keep in contact with me. Okay. So the next one is consulting. So you can use your book for consulting. When you show people that you have a book, they want to hire you. Uh, next one is speaking the same thing. When you have a book, for some reason, it just elevates you into a different level. And when people see that you have a book, they are, they're like, whoa, I really want to have that person speak on whatever the topic is. Like mine is fear, for example, the year of fears. So since mine is a, my book is about fear. You know, I'm a uh, elevated authority as fear. And so people have me come and speak about fear. Okay. The next one is events. So you can put on events and you know, have your book at the event with you. 
and you can sell it. So, or you can um, be a vendor at somebody else's event or a sponsor at somebody else's event, bring your book and sell your book there at the event. Another way is advertising. You can actually take your book and now I didn't do this, but what you can do is you can take your book and in the middle of your book, you can um, have people buy ads. So for example, mine is about fears. Maybe for example, I could have, um, come, you know, combined my book with the advertising from somebody who is a coach, like a life coach or something. And maybe they would want to take out, you know, spend a hundred dollars, $200, $500, whatever, whatever you agree on to take out an ad inside of my book. Another way is sponsorship. So this would be along the same lines as the advertising. But the difference here is you're going to actually um, have them sponsor your book. So instead of just having an ad in there, you can say, you know, sponsored by them. Another way is crowdfunding. You could crowdfund to write your book. So I know Christine tells a story about, you know, somebody who wanted to write their book and they didn't have the money. And so what they did is they asked asked for crowdfunding and they raised about $3,000 to write their book. That's just an awesome way to do it. And it's up to you, whatever you want. You know, it didn't cost me anything to write my book. I wrote my book on my own um, with my computer and I uploaded it to KDP. I read all the directions on how to do that. And then I launched it. Now I haven't made very much money from it. I think I've made under a hundred dollars. So it hasn't been a big profit maker for me as far as the sales of the actual book. And that's why number one sales and royalties it's not really the best thing to rely on unless you have somebody who's doing a lot of social media advertising for you, which I'm doing my own social media right now. So that's not happening. <laughs> Just being honest with you guys. Okay. So the next one is VIP days. Um, you can, you know, give your book away at your VIP days. Maybe you have VIP day as an offering inside of your book. So for example, if you want to do a VIP day with a couple people, you could do a group VIP day or you could do one-on-one -on -one VIP day where you invite them through your book and you can have that be one of the offerings inside of your book. It's just a different way of doing it. Uh, retreats and live workshops. Again, you know, your book is a great way of getting people to know about your retreats and live workshops. So once you start capturing people's email addresses by doing your product sales or your speaking, your events and your advertising and things like that, once you start capturing their email addresses, you can then start inviting them to the VIP days, to your retreats and your live workshops. You know, you can invite people who are on your email list, you know, to your launch parties and stuff like that. And then next would be membership. So you can have a membership site that is around your book. For example, mine is the year of fears and I have a membership site and it's called the year of fears and it's a paid site. So people pay me to be in my membership site. And what I do is I help them break through their fears. Since the, the group is called the year of fears, I help them break through their fears. And that's my membership site. And then, you know, through a coaching program would be, you know, kind of like the same along the lines of, you know, doing membership and, and doing the retreats and live workshops. And here's the last one for today is JV and partnerships and collaborations and the collaborations, you know, the JV partnerships, that's where the fearless entrepreneurs comes in, you know, comes into play. And um, if you are interested in learning how you can be part of the fearless entrepreneurs collaboration book, go ahead and type the word collab down in the comments below and, and go ahead and, and do that to join us. So you can learn more about what we're doing. So we're holding a webinar on May 23rd at 7 p.m. Pacific time, which is also May 24th at noon um, Sydney time. And Christine's in, in Australia. And so that's why I list the Australia time there. But you can join us um, at that at the webinar to learn how you can be part of the fearless entrepreneurs collaboration book. So again, if you're interested in that, here's the book, here's, here's what it looks like fearless be more. And also if you are interested in being um, on my podcast, I'm going to be interviewing fearless entrepreneurs. So people who are entrepreneurs, and I truly believe everybody who is an entrepreneur is a fearless entrepreneur because entrepreneurs really do leap out of the page, don't they? Like we do things that people who are not entrepreneurs are too scared to do. So because of that, that definition alone makes you a fearless entrepreneur. So I'd love to see you, you know, join us for the 
uh, for the podcast, I'm sorry, the, the podcast for the webinar. Again, it's May 23rd at 7 p.m. Pacific time. I would love to see you join us there. Type collab in the comments below to join us and my messenger bot will send you the information so that you can sign up. Okay. I look forward to seeing you there. Hopefully this was helpful. Just showing you again, the uh, 15 ways that you can, 15 ways that you can, um, Oh, what the heck's going on? Hold on a second here. Something's going on. 15 ways that you can profit from your, from your book. So have a great, great day. Happy Mother's Day to you who are mothers and to you who fathers who play the part of mother for your children. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.